So, when Godzilla vs. Kong released, I was there opening day to watch the movie. And no, no, I wasn't there at the movie theaters. I watched it on, on HBO Max. So, I wanted to feel a little safer to go to the theaters before I actually go to the theaters again. I really do hope that we get there someday because, boy do I miss movie theaters. But anyway, when I tuned in to watch the movie opening day, I was, I was expecting just like a really exciting popcorn flick. But I did not expect to be that invested in the story. The plot was really well written in my opinion. You know, where Kong was at the moment, how he and Godzilla butted heads, how, how Kong and Godzilla came to blows. Yeah, the, the story that, yeah, the storyline behind it, yeah, the plot that had these two titans cross paths, it was really well done. It wasn't, and it didn't feel like, you know, a forced, a forced versus match just to entertain the fans. It actually felt like an organic story. So, yeah, I really did enjoy the movie. And before we get any further into this video, there will be spoilers. So if you guys don't want spoilers and you haven't seen the movie yet, you, you, you've got five seconds to step out of this video and please feel free to come back after you watch the movies. Okay, you've been warned. So if you've seen the movie or if you don't care about spoilers, well then, let's get started. So, Kong is living on Skull Island. He's a lot larger than he was in his own movie, Kong Skull Island. Yeah, he's a lot larger now. Now, he's living on Skull Island. However, he's living in a giant dome. That giant dome, you know, has technology inside it that mimics the outside world, that mimics a jungle. But nonetheless, it's a giant dome. And needless to say, that dome is getting to be too small for Kong right now. Too small a home for Kong. But... Dr. Eileen Andrews, who's a Kong expert, she thinks it's too dangerous to take Kong to the outside because when Kong is, is on the outside, Godzilla would, would go after him because Godzilla is the Apex Titan. And you know, when you're the Apex Titan, yeah, you do not want to feel any threats to your crown. So that's why she thinks it's safer to keep him in this dome. And in this dome, Kong befriends a young girl named Gia. Yeah, she's a native girl who can communicate with Kong. She's deaf, but she knows how to communicate with Kong via sign language. Elsewhere, Godzilla attacks an Apex facility. Now, Madison Russell, one of the protagonists of an earlier film, Godzilla King of the Monsters, she is curious about why Godzilla is doing these attacks. She's, she just really wants to know, wants to get to the bottom of it, but she really believes it in her heart that there must be a good reason for this, because Godzilla did save her and her father in that previous movie. The CEO of Apex, Walter Simmons, wants to find a power source on Hollow Earth. Hollow Earth is an ecosystem that's this, that was discovered years earlier that's located near the Earth's core. So again, Simmons wants to find a power source in that location, in that ecosystem. He believes there's a power source there that could be strong enough to help them combat Godzilla. So to do this, he enlists the help of a former monarch scientist, Nathan Lynn. Now, Nathan is at first hesitant to lead this expedition, but when Simmons assures him that they have the appropriate technology to make this expedition a success, Nathan decides to 
hop on board. Nathan Lin, in turn, gets in touch with Dr. Eileen Andrews on Skull Island. He proposes an idea to Eileen to use Kong as a guide to this power source. He believes that Kong has the ability to help them locate this power source and in turn they would also find Kong a new home on Hollow Earth. Dr. Eileen Andrews is very hesitant at first but she eventually she eventually agrees to the plan as long as she's in charge of Kong. During the journey to Hollow Earth, the convoy that's escorting Kong is attacked by Godzilla. Kong and Godzilla engage in a one-on-one -on -one battle and Godzilla emerges the victor. But Kong survives. So for the rest of the journey, the convoy decides to take Kong to Hollow Earth via airlift. Once the airlift took Kong to Antarctica, there in, in Antarctica was a tunnel that leads to Hollow Earth and Gia convinces Kong to go into that tunnel and the team follows. Once they go to Hollow Earth, they find an ecosystem that's very similar to Skull Island. However, it's a lot larger, obviously. A perfect place for Kong. The further in they go, they uncover a giant throne room that belonged to Kong's ancestors. And they find a big power axe. That axe, yeah, that axe has the power source that they need. And it is revealed that Apex was planning sinister activities all along. Madison Russell, she uncovers this herself in Hong Kong. And because of those sinister activities, they caused Godzilla to start these attacks. So you see, at first Apex, Apex made it look like they're seeking this power source in response to Godzilla's attacks. But it's the other way around. You see, Godzilla, he already sensed Apex's sinister activities. That's why he's been attacking their facilities. So it's Apex's sinister activities. It's their, you know, sinister motives that's causing all this. So Godzilla senses that in Hong Kong, and that's where his next destination is. He ends up in Hong Kong and just attacks Hong Kong. He also senses he senses the power source in Hollow Earth so he uses his atomic breath to blast a giant hole from Hong Kong that reaches all the way to Hollow Earth. In Hollow Earth yeah in Hollow Earth there were apex yeah there were apex scientists that traveled with Nathan, Nathan, Eileen, and Gia during this quest. Yeah, they were all in on it to, you know, find this power source for their own selfish gains. So they transport this power source back to the Apex base in Hong Kong, where Simmons is. And once Simmons gets this power source, he uses it to power Mecha Godzilla. Yep, the sinister activity, the, the sinister activities Apex has been working on includes Mecha Godzilla. Mecha Godzilla just absolutely goes crazy. But I'm getting a little ahead of myself. So remember when I said that Godzilla blasted a big hole from Hong Kong all the way down to Hollow Earth? Yeah, and from that hole, Kong climbs out and Kong and Godzilla go at it for round two. Godzilla fires his atomic breath, but Kong with the power axe blocks his atomic breaths and knocks him out, temporarily. And then when they get up for round three, Godzilla reclaims his victory, and Kong is almost killed. 
and then Mecha Godzilla goes crazy. He starts ravaging Hong Kong, and he engages Godzilla in a fight. Seemingly fatigued from his fight with Kong, Godzilla is no match for Mecha Godzilla. He's just like getting thrown around. He's getting bashed around, thrown through buildings. He he gets his atomic breath overpowered by Mecha Godzilla's atomic breath. So, to revive Kong, they take one of the, like these mini ships and they place it on. Nathan places it on Kong's chest, and and makes it explode. The explosion like acts as like a defibrillator to you know what to jumpstart Kong's heart. So Kong gets up. Gia convinces Kong that Godzilla is not the enemy, but Mecha Godzilla is. So from there. Kong teams up with Godzilla to fight Mecha Godzilla. However, Mecha Godzilla is too much for both of them. However, <clears throat> Madison and her friends find a way to short circuit Mecha Godzilla, or you know, just um to take away some of his power. And then from there, Godzilla fires his atomic breath at Kong's axe. The battle axe powers up. Giving Kong, yeah, giving Kong the chance to kill and destroy Mecha Godzilla, and then he holds Mecha Godzilla's skull up, you know, like this, as like his trophy. From there, Godzilla and Kong they just acknowledge each other before they both go their separate ways. So sometime later, in Hollow Earth, Monarch has set up an outpost to, you know. Watch after Kong, who's now living in Hollow Earth, you know, as its apex king. Godzilla still got Earth. So yeah, that's basically how the movie wraps up. I, like I said, I absolutely enjoyed this movie. If the monster verse is gonna continue, we don't know, but I am very curious to see what happens next. But anyway, those are my thoughts on Godzilla versus Kong. What did you guys think of it? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, as well as any of my other videos, feel free to you know subscribe and be sure to hit the bell so you get notified whenever I create a new video. And again, thank you viewers and I will see you in the next upload.